The powers have doubled since the last time we met, Count. Good. Twice the pride, double the fall. Greetings, Force fans, and welcome to another episode of Darth Rage Reviews, your source for the Force. So, what's happening in your world this week? Me? Pretty standard. A little bit of work. Uh, I tend to have Thursdays off, so a little personal bit. I work at an amusement park. I'm a manager at an amusement park. Uh, so, I tend to work uh, at least one of the weekend days, which means I typically get a weekday off, and uh, usually it's Thursday, so you guys get to spend it with me. Um, today I was uh, watching a lot of the hurricane coverage uh, for the storm that's hitting, uh, you know, several hours from here, a couple states over, uh, and just kind of wanted to get my mind off of it for a little bit, so uh, as the bands of this hurricane kind of sweep through where I'm at, uh, I'm going through a little storm, a little wind, bright sunshine, thunderstorm, wind, bright sunshine, uh, so figured I'd come in here and uh, shoot a little video. Gonna do a review today of a mystery box saber that I got from Ultra Sabers. So it was part of my big spring uh, sale that I did. Uh, got four sabers from them and one of them was a mystery box and it was this mystery box right here. So I got an Aeon LE V2. Uh, the LE stands for Luxury Edition. It is their uh, gold, so it's got gold accents and all these little uh, indentations in the hilt. Um, you know, it's pretty pretty standard uh, hilt. There's you know nothing flashy about it. Uh, it's you know pretty plain, other than the grooves, slightly raised part in the center here where the uh, switch is, um, and it's just a plain guarded switch. Uh, nothing special there, no uh, illuminated uh, switch for that one. Um, you know, again, it's got grooves on the bottom, grooves in the middle, and then the two raised parts, the raised emitter and the raised part right here where the switch is. You know, all in all, it's about as plain as they come um, from Ultra Sabers, other than the LE gold accents in the middle. Um, there's, you know, nothing special about it. And so I was a little bit meh when I got it. Uh, and then it kind of, you know, grew on me. Um, I realized that this is basically a blank slate that I can have some fun with. You know, it was a, a $75 uh, mystery box. Uh, you know, nothing special about it. Uh, I think it's an $80 saber if you get it. There's no sound in it. Um, if you were to purchase it, it'd be 80 bucks. So save $5 that way. Um, but... This is really a blank canvas that I can kind of do whatever I want to. So I'm going to have some fun with this. I don't know if I'm going to weather it, uh, try some leather or uh, a wrap of some type down here. Um, but I'm going to uh, use this as, as kind of my first experimentation on uh, customizing a hilt. So we'll see what that does. So uh, big question on mystery boxes too. Is it, is it going to have sound or not sound? You know, that question's answered when I saw the pommel, there is, you know, no vintage grooves or anything in the pommel, so this is obviously not a sound saber. Um, and, you know, the other option you could have is an upgrade on the switch, and this is the basic switch that comes with it. It's a black guarded switch for that. So really the only question is color um, or, you know, blade type. Uh, I chose the blade. I like a mid-grade blade, and this is the uh, uh, pointed tip. I go between pointed tips and rounded tips, you know, just not one or the other really, you know, jumps out at me. So it's just kind of whatever mood I'm in this time. Went with a pointed tip. So what color did we get? And as you can see, it goes with the title. I'm a Darth, and this is a Sith Red Blade. So can't be disappointed with that. Again, no sound, but, you know, sometimes... When you're swinging a saber, when you're playing around with these, you don't want sound. Um, you know, sometimes the sound annoys me. Sometimes I'm inside and the wife uh, or the daughter don't want to hear me uh, swinging a sword around. So, uh, you know, the, the ones without sound work well as well. Um, so, you know, how does it feel when you swing it? Um, that's always a question that uh, I have um, when I get a blade. And, and actually, this one is a very comfortable 
uh, lightsaber to hold, um, and it does swing very, very well. Um, matter of fact, I'm going to go outside right now because we're kind of not in a rain period. Run outside right now and uh, swing it around some, let you guys see what you think about uh, this Aeon LEV2 in action. So let's take a look at that. What do you think, Dio? Dio said yes. Um, again, we're in the outer bands of a hurricane, Hurricane Laura. So it's kind of going from bright sun to thunderstorms, but the wind tends to stick through. So my apologies for the audio. Um, anyway, got a 36 inch mid-grade blade on here. Let's see what kind of balance she has and let's see how she spins. So it, I mean, I gotta give this thing high stars for spinning because it's just effortless. So lightweight, balance seems very good. And you can just swing it forever. So on spinning, this thing is almost a five star for me. This thing is very well balanced, fun to spin, lightweight. So as you can see, she does swing very, very well. Uh, a very easy lightsaber to handle um, and a fun lightsaber to swing around, not heavy at all. Uh, seems to be very well balanced. Um, so all in all, I do enjoy this hilt. And again, I'll give you some close-up shots of her. I do refer to all my lightsabers as, as females. I think a lightsaber, if it would, had a gender, it would definitely be a woman. So again, very plain, but pretty. It's about a foot long, I think it's 12 inches long. Very good sized hilt, it's a nice hilt. And uh, customization options, you know, it, it just, it kind of makes me excited and gives me a little something else to do. So uh, I do plan on customizing this. Let me guys, you know, let, let me know in the comments what you think. Should I weather it? Uh, should I try painting some of these grooves, uh, wraps, uh, you know, anything that you guys think I should do, I'm, I'm willing to try. Uh, this, I see this is a blank canvas. Um, so as always, like to give it a rating, uh, just so you guys know what you're getting into. So uh, the Aeon LEV2 from Ultra Sabers. Uh, got a five star system in here. Um, just because it's a mystery box, I didn't buy this as a stunt saber. Um, so an option, you know, you do have the, the slim chance of getting sound or, or getting something a whole lot better. Uh, I did not get that in this. Um, very plain hilt, um, not a whole lot of jazz to it uh, other than the LE accents. Uh, but again, very good option for customization for me to try and, and I won't really you know be too upset if I mess it up because it's not an expensive hill. So out of five stars I would give this two and a half. It's a two and a half stars. Um, I hope that after I customize this uh, that I can give it a higher rating and, and I end up liking it a lot more but just the the fact that you, you get no sound with it um, I can't give it higher than three stars without a sound option on there. Um, but it is such a comfortable hilt and, uh, you know, not a bad looking hilt overall. So two and a half stars for the L -A Aeon, sorry, the Aeon LEV2 from Ultra Sabers. All right, guys. Well, that's it for today. I hope you did enjoy the episode. As always, guys, I am Darth Rage Reviews. If you liked this video, please like it. Please comment. Tell me what you thought, suggestions, you know, whatever you think, guys. Uh, if you like and you subscribe, you'll keep up to date on the latest videos. Try to keep this stuff coming quite often. But as always, guys, I am Darth Rage Reviews, your source for the Force.